the papers have digested Friday's Brexit divorce deal news and Saturday's front pages deliver their verdicts. HuffPost UK has ranked them on a scale of jubilant celebration to intense despair. While the side each backed in the EU referendum is a clear predictor of their stance, their reactions span an incredibly wide spectrum of emotions and there's no prizes for guessing which end of the spectrum the Daily Mail is on. J-U-B-I-L-I-A-N-T celebration, rejoice, may look like it was supposed to be part of the wine offer but slipped down in an unfortunate editing error. According to the pro-Brexit paper, the deal marks a huge step toward regaining control of its borders, laws and money. Hello, at Daily Mailuk. How does an open Irish border give UK control over our borders? How does aligning regulation give us control over our laws? How does committing to unquantified payments give us control over our money? Brexit shambles, Roger German at Paday and Tarek 5 December 8, 2017 Thinking face thinking face thinking face head in the sand Saturday's express huge Brexit boost at last via at Handopolis Tomorrow's papers today picked out Twitter.com The 85 JFX BBC News UK at BBC News December 8, 2017 The pro-Brexit express front page is remarkable considering just four days ago it called concessions on the Irish border and the European Court of Justice a stitch-up in this headline. Her, make your mind up pick.twitter.com review Pimbley, as Panda Face MMY Scissor at Sam Styles 147 December 8, 2017 The pro-Brexit Sun relegates the news to a tiny section of the front page which lauds the Champagne Brexfest Fest and describes how Theresa May has won. Saturday sunglass attack on TV cat via at Handopolis tomorrow's papers today picked out twitter.com jip 6 g 65 d BBC News UK at BBC News December 8, 2017, full story on page A67. Good to see that there is such important front page news. Phil Ray FBPE at Phil underscore W underscore Ray December 8, 2017 all aboard for the pro I which declares the UK has set course for a soft Brexit. Britain sets course for soft Brexit tomorrow's papers today picked out twitter.com sk for Zostpum, Neil Henderson at Hendopolis December 8, 2017 but that's not why this guy will be buying it tomorrow. Never mind that Star Wars trading cards, Andy Kitchingman at Andy Kitchy December 8, 2017 The Pro Daily Mirror takes the opportunity to highlight the concessions the UK has had to make in order to come to a deal. It's all very somber from the Pro Guardian. Guardian deal is done but EU warns of more delays tomorrow's papers today pick.twitter.com will get my vet Neil Henderson at Handopolis December 8, 2017 The pro-Brexit Telegraph has a somber and reflective take on the deal, which it calls the price of freedom. Saturday's Telegraph The Price of Freedom via at Handopolis Tomorrow's Papers Today picked out Twitter.com secured BBC News UK at BBC News December 8, 2017 Many concessions but hey, freedom comes at a price when it comes to Brexit and Braveheart. Intense despair the pro-independence digital front page is a bit of a Star Wars-inspired design masterclass. Saturday is independent so, 18 months after the Brexit vote. Via at Handopolis tomorrow's papers today picked out twitter.com uozoi 4g7, BBC News UK at BBC News December 8, 2017 The independence gloom was shared by Nigel Farage a man the paper rarely sees eye to eye with. But he was unhappy for very different reasons. This is not a deal, it's a capitulation. UK government has put too much on the table for absolutely nothing guaranteed in return. Pick.twitter.com 19fxxn41 EO, Nigel Farage at Nigel. Farage December 8, 2017 KUIPOINTSOFTHEDEALA deal has been reached between the European Union and the United Kingdom on phase one of the Brexit talks. The European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker revealed early on Friday morning that sufficient progress has now been made. This opens the way for negotiations on the future trade relationship between the UK and EU to begin. Theresa May said the deal makes sure there will be no hard border between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. The Prime Minister said the rights of EU citizens living in the UK and British citizens living in the EU will be protected. A financial settlement will be paid by the UK to the EU which is fair to the British taxpayer, May said. Dep leader Arlene Foster said she was now satisfied there would now be no red line down the Irish Sea, separating Northern Ireland from Great Britain. May will personally guarantee to the people of Ulster six promises, including leaving the EU Customs Union and Single Market and upholding the Good Friday Agreement peace deal, suggest a correction.